Welcome back to Finance Homefront with me, your host, Craig. Today, we're diving into the world of real estate financing, specifically exploring the age-old debate between hard money lending and private money lenders. For those venturing into real estate investment, choosing the right financing option can make all the difference. Hard money lenders, with their semi-institutional structure and licensing, offer a unique proposition compared to private money lenders. But which option reigns supreme? In this video, we'll break down the benefits and drawbacks of both hard money lending and private money lenders, giving you the insights you need to make an informed decision for your next investment venture. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited to learn more about real estate financing. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Finance Homefront for more valuable insights into the world of finance and real estate. Be sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts on hard money lending versus private money lenders. We'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. The distinction between a hard money lender and a private money lender lies in their nature. A hard money lender operates as an institution holding a license to lend money. They are regulated and have a formal setup. You'll find them actively branding and marketing their services, urging you to utilize their funds. They primarily deal with hard assets, hence the term hard money lender. Unlike personal connections, they base their loans on tangible collateral rather than personal relationships. If you search for hard money lenders in your city, you'll likely find numerous options, each vying for your attention with their offers and loan applications. Most hard money lenders, especially those I've worked with, don't delve into credit checks. They focus on the deal itself. Their criteria revolve around the property's potential and the feasibility of the investment. Keep in mind that each hard money lender operates differently with varying points, fees, and terms. However, they all function as individual entities, actively seeking opportunities to lend money to viable projects. On the other hand, private money lenders resemble individuals like you or I. They lack official licensing and operate on a more personal level. They could be individuals within your network, potentially hidden in your contact list. Private money lenders are individuals who seek to invest their idle funds into real estate ventures, but lack the expertise or time to find deals themselves. They rely on trusted contacts like you to scout opportunities while they focus on their primary professions. The commonality shared by these two potential lenders is their lack of restrictions typical of traditional lending institutions. This proves beneficial for real estate investors in several aspects, which I'll briefly touch on. 1. Expediency. Private or hard money loans often entail fewer procedural hurdles potentially resulting in loan approval within a week. Two, no credit assessment needed. Unlike traditional funding, hard and private lenders typically do not impose credit score requirements. Three, enhanced liquidity. By utilizing other people's money, OPM, investors can maintain greater cash liquidity, thereby diversifying risk and avoiding overexposure. Four, flexibility. Private lenders possess the latitude to craft bespoke lending terms, while hard money loans typically lack prepayment penalties. These represent just a couple of examples showcasing the greater flexibility offered by these alternative financing options compared to the conventional route. Experienced investors understand the advantages of combining their personal financial resources with those of a hard money lending institution. So what are the advantages of opting for a hard money lender? To begin with, they are quasi-institutional and possess greater organizational structure compared to a private lender. However, most importantly, they hold official licenses for extending loans to real estate investors. Consequently, they typically boast more expertise in financing fix and flip ventures than your typical private lender. Arguably, a minor drawback associated with hard money lenders pertains to a characteristic they share with private lenders, regulation. 
hard money lenders encounter more regulatory hurdles than private lenders, although considerably fewer than traditional lenders. Nevertheless, depending on one's perspective, this can also be viewed as a strength. It is what renders hard money lenders the more secure choice for novice investors, and the rationale behind seasoned investors consistently opting for this avenue. Understanding the source of funding is crucial. Hard money lenders pool funds from various sources, creating a lending fund from which they extend loans to borrowers. This process is heavily regulated with stringent oversight from regulatory bodies like the SEC, ensuring compliance with securities laws across different states. Private money lending, on the other hand, typically involves direct one-to-one -one transactions, bypassing the complexities of pooled funds and regulatory requirements. Both hard money and private money lenders play essential roles in real estate investing. While hard money lenders provide institutional support and quick access to capital, private money lenders offer personalized relationships and flexibility in terms. Combining both types of funding sources allows investors to maximize opportunities and mitigate risks effectively. It's crucial to cultivate relationships with both hard money and private money lenders to diversify funding sources and scale your real estate ventures effectively. When purchasing a property and relying on a hard money loan or private money loan for the transaction, the specific label given by your lender, whether it's classified as hard money or private money, becomes inconsequential. In essence, it's a matter of terminology. Chances are your loan will take the form of a 12 to 24 month bridge loan accompanied by elevated interest rates and closing costs compared to the conventional bank financing initially sought. Nevertheless, this arrangement enables you to swiftly finalize the purchase and subsequently focus on securing long-term bank financing. Contingent upon the readiness of your finances or the property's condition to meet the stipulated criteria. Well, thank you all for taking the time to learn a bit about this subject. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Happy investing.